One of the questions that I get is about preparing your crucible for melting down your silver. When you first get a crucible, it is just ceramic, it's just plain, it has a very porous surface. Now that is not something that is going to work well when you start to melt down your metal because we don't want it getting caught in any of that porosity or anything like that. So one of the things that we need to do is get this seasoned. There are a number of ways to do this and I'm gonna show you a very, very simple way. But first I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the first way that I used to do this. So this is boric acid. And what I would do is I would get my crucible warmed up just a little bit, sprinkle some boric acid into it, keep heating it until you see that boric acid melt, add some more, keep heating it, watch it melt some more, add some more, and then you're going to do that until you get the entire piece coated. However, there is an easier way to do this. So I use a handy flux, this is just a paste flux, but I don't, I try not to use it too much out of this large container. One, I often forget to put the lid on and everything dries out and I have to reconstitute it. But the other thing too, is the whole purpose of a flux is so that you don't contaminate your piece with other items and you keep things clean. So if I'm dipping my brush constantly back into my large container, I run a, a great risk of contaminating that. So what I usually do was take a little bit out and I move them into these little containers. They look kind of like a short squatty film canister that we used to have way back in the days. But what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my, my flux brush here and I'm going to coat the inside of my little crucible. Now this is going to really soak this in because of that porosity and that's fine. So you want to just give it a nice good coating. Now I also want to ensure that I really get this lip up here, that pore spout. We want to make certain we get all of that coated very well. And I'm also going to do all around the edge top and just on the outside. Okay, so I actually have a really good coating now and now if I come back in here and I add a little bit more, I can see that it's not soaking in quite as much as it was when I very first started painting it. Now again, I really wanna make certain that this pore spout is nice and coated. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to put this back into my whip. This allows me to hold on to the crucible without actually holding on to the crucible. I'm going to be using my map gas torch. This is the one that I really like for doing any kind of casting or any big metal meltdown. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat this up. Now, I'm going to get this going and then I'll come back in and I may sprinkle some of the boric acid into it or I may actually come back and repaint depending on if I have areas that I think need just a little bit more. So we'll have everything ready to go. Really quickly, I just want to show you guys, see if this will show up in this video, but you can kind of see where the flux has started to, I guess, congregate with each other. Like you end up with these little spots in there, they kind of open up and that's totally fine. It's just some of the, the outer stuff burning off a little bit. And as we get going, we'll start to get that fluid and we'll be able to actually roll this around and help coat some of these other areas. Now at this point, you can easily see where that flux is beginning to coat and where it has pulled away from some of the crucible edges. Okay, and again, we're starting to get a nice, kind of like a grayish coating in here. And that's where the flux is beginning to turn kind of glass-like. So what I'm going to do, because I can see several of these open areas, I'm just gonna take some of this boric acid and I'm going to sprinkle it into those areas.
Okay, now obviously I'm going to be very, very careful because this is extremely hot, but now you can see that my ink or my crucible is completely coated. I have a nice rim around the outside edges there. So everything is ready to go. And now I'm ready to begin to add my silver, my gold, my bronze, whatever it is that I'm casting with. I'm ready to add that in and begin to cast with this. <laughs> 